what's up Sailor Guardians? I'm Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel all about Sailor Moon news, merch reviews, and how to's. I have a collection next to me of products from the Sailor Moon Eternal movies, part one and part two. Part one and part two. <laughs> These all came out like last year and the year before and I've just been like collecting all the things into a pile. Now I have everything from those movies that I wanted to collect so I figured I could show you in a little collection haul video. All of the items seen here are from Japan so I did have to use Japanese websites and proxies in order to get all of these products. Ugh. Some of these are also from the fan club, the Japanese fan club. So let's go ahead and open these and I'll show you everything that I got. The first item I have here is basically a replica of Chibi Moon's bell that she uses to call on Pegasus. Oh, it comes very nicely packaged. There we go. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, wow. Here we go. Oh, this is cute. Look how pretty that is. It's super shiny and it's got this like rose gold color to it. And there is an actual bell on the inside so you can use it. Oh my God, this is so cute. Wow, okay, I'm very impressed. That's adorable. Love it, love it, love it. This I was able to find, I believe through the Sailor Moon store. This is a postcard set from Sailor Moon Eternal, and this is a very, very pretty postcard set. 1,500 yen, relatively inexpensive, especially nowadays. Oh my gosh, our exchange rate has been great in the past like couple of months. So this is basically just a postcard set. It features all of the Sailor Guardians. So here we have Sailor Moon, there's Sailor Chibi Moon. The first two have some really pretty foil print. Sailor Mercury, there's Sailor Mars. She looks great. Sailor Jupiter, Sailor Venus. So again, this is the Sailor Moon Eternal versions of them. Sailor Neptune, Sailor Pluto, my fave, my girl. Super Sailor Saturn, oh, she's so cute. Tuxedo Mask, oh, there's more. Who else is in here? Helios, oh, that's pretty. Ooh, it's foily, cool. Super Sailor Chibi Moon and Super Sailor Moon. We have Super Sailor Mercury. This one is not foil. Mars, Jupiter. So these are all images from the movie. Venus. Oh, that's cute. Amazon S Quartet. I always have trouble pronouncing that. Sarah Sarah, Pala Pala, Vez Vez, and June June. Then we have the Amazon Trio. We got Tiger's Eye, Hawk's Eye, and Fish Eye. Ooh, this one's pretty. That's foil too. That's gorgeous beautiful postcard of the poster from Sailor Moon Eternal. And that's it. That's so pretty. This is really beautiful. I love this little booklet. It's very, very pretty. So nice little collector piece there. If you do choose to collect this and add it, there is an obi, like a book belt that goes around it, this obi right here. So make sure that if you do purchase one of these, it comes with this. It's supposed to, and it's also supposed to have this little flag in there too. Next is this piece. I know what this is, very excited about it. This features the Crisis Moon brooch on the front. This is a mirror, but it's also a battery charger. So it's only 3000 milliampere hour, which is tiny in comparison to today's cell phones. So that'll probably only get you like half a charge on any phone. It is five volts, one amp, which is also fairly slow. And the battery life is up to 1000 cycles. Uh, charge time is two to three hours. That's pretty slow too. So generally this is not the best thing to buy if you're intending to use it as a battery, but you can buy this because it's freaking cute. So it comes with a USB 2.0 to USB-C, micro USB and lightning adapter, which that's a really cool cable to have actually. So I'm kind of happy it comes with one of those. And it also comes with a nice little pouch that you can put it in. This is like microfiber or almost velvet. And this is the mirror slash battery pack. <laughs> so the reason why it's both is because there is a mirror on the inside of it. Then you also have the micro USB and USB 2.0 on one side. Over here you have, I believe that's the on button. And then there's four LEDs to show you how much it has charged. There is a normal mirror at the top, and this one has an LED ring light with three times magnification. 
and a magnetic closure. The micro USB is used as input. The five volt USB is used as output. So in order to charge your phones, you would plug this into the USB 2.0 and then plug one of these into your phone. To charge the battery inside here, you use the micro USB there. Let's see if it has a charge. <gasps> It does, oh my gosh, it's lighting up. Wow, I'm so excited. So it does say that you should charge it for two to three hours before first use. It should be recharged every six months when not in use. In order to turn on the ring light, you double press on the power button. Oh, that's cool. Check that out. Oh, that's dope and it totally works. Wow, that's really neat. It's not super bright, but like, it's a ring light for your mirror. <laughs> That's really freaking cool. <laughs> I think to turn it off, you probably double press. Yeah, double press to turn off the ring light. And then in order to charge your devices, you just plug them in and that's it. So <laughs> that's really neat. This is such a cool little piece and I love the art on the front of it. And I like that it's this super shiny, like pink color. So if you're just taking this out like around town and you want a mirror, but also a battery pack, like how nice is it to have both in one? That's really cool. So cute too. Okay, love it. Also a really nice piece of merch. Wow. So far everything from the movies has been like very nice merchandise. I'm pretty impressed so far. Let's move on. These are Sailor Moon acrylic stands. There's the A versions and the B versions. I got both. So here we have the Super Sailor Senshi. And then we also have Super Sailor Moon and Chibi Moon, Helios and Tuxedo Mask. So all of these can be unboxed and put into this cute little stand. I believe these were extras that came with maybe the DVD, maybe a CD, I don't remember. There's a charm that has the little bell on it. And then we also have this foil trading card. What a pretty trading card, cool. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this came with one of the CDs that I had purchased. Okay, next we have some bonus items that came with the DVD, depending on where you purchased it. I ended up purchasing a few copies of the DVD so that I could get all the bonus items that I wanted. So these are the acrylic stands that you could get with the DVD, I believe through maybe King A Shop. Maybe it was, uh, the Pretty Guardian fan club. I don't know, one of those, but this came with the DVD. And then this was also a freebie that you got with purchase through another website. One of them might've been Amazon. I really like collecting like trading cards, clear files, acrylic stands, like all of those little items that are super small, but very easy to collect. Um, makes them relatively inexpensive and so cute. And they don't take up a lot of space. If you ended up purchasing both of these, which are the Cardass collection of trading cards, you also got a giant collectible card. I have a lot of these from the 1990s, so it's kind of cool to have one from the 2000s. So that's a giant card. And then we have these little ones. So this is volume two or collection two of these premium cards. Ooh, that's a pretty folder. So here we have a very large print of Princess Serenity and King Endymion. And over on this side, we have the foil cards. So we have each of the inner Sailor Guardians as well as a couple of cards of the outers as well. Super pretty, really nice collection. This is also a collection too. Ooh, so pretty. Okay, so here we have all of the Sailor Guardians. And then we have these cards on this side, which feature different images from the movie. Those are so pretty. I think I like these ones more though, cause they have prettier art. All right, moving on. I have a lot of clear files. Each of these are from Sailor Moon Eternal. They were freebies with purchase of the Blu-ray or DVD. So here I have Eternal Sailor Moon and Chibi Moon. Then I have a group one of all of the Sailor Guardians. And I also got one of Uranus and Neptune. These are three packs of clear files. These came from the Sailor Moon store. So we have the poster from the movie, a couple of clear files. One features the, the Moon family, and then we have the 
Amazon S quartet. The back of these are very pretty too. Amazon Trio is on the back of the quartet one. We also have Sailor Moon Eternal with this gorgeous print and Sailor Moon Eternal with like a night print. This is another clear file set of three, also available from the Sailor Moon store. All the Guardians, this is a poster. Uranus and Neptune, and we also got Pluto and Saturn. And the back of these are also some very pretty prints. This clear file is just the inner Sailor Guardians. And next I have a couple of pamphlets. I will start with pamphlet number one. Let's go ahead and flip through this. I'm sure it's gorgeous on the inside. Ooh, so pretty. Okay, so this is a beautiful piece of manga art by Naoko. That's actually a classic piece too from the 90s. Some really pretty images from the movies. We have some character art. Oh, this is probably profile pieces on each of the characters. Yeah. Oh, these are so beautiful. This is really pretty, y'all. They should each get full pages, just saying. They aren't really a, a big part of the first movie, so maybe that's why. Look, oh scenes from all the different places that they go in the movies. That's a real place, by the way. Some of the enemies, some profiles on the enemies. Gorgeous art from the movie. Ooh, is this about the voice actors? I think it is. So we have some pages, looks like some profiles. Yeah, these are all interviews with a lot of the voice actors. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. She actually did the voice acting for Zirconia, which is so cool. Special move, so this is about the attacks. Ooh, pretty. Such a nice full page print. These are like art books, really cool. Okay, this is just beautiful. Um, oh, this is about the artist who sang the theme song, credits. Ooh, merch, nice. I love having these merch pages because this really helps with collecting. Like, what do I have so far? I don't have those. <laughs> I don't have any of those. Those are so cute. My goodness, how cute. Some more pieces of art and some more items that you could collect. Yeah, this is very useful. Oh, I got that watch. It's so pretty in person. Okay, so that's everything for the first pamphlet. Some more beautiful manga art from the 1990s. Images, oh, this is the story. Is this the same profile? No, this is a little bit different. Cute. I'll have to go through these and Google Translate them later. Oh, I like this page, that's gorgeous. Yay, outers. Oh, look at that. So these are like casual wear for each of the Sailor Guardians from this movie. There's Princess Serenity, oh my gosh, with white hair too, I love it. And then we have these, so spoiler alert, <laughs> this is very much from the manga. This movie follows the storyline of the manga more so than the 90s anime, so that's why you will see them in Sailor uniforms. Definitely highly recommend watching the movie if you have not done so already, both parts, part one and part two. This is cute, autographs from the voice actors, cast messages, cast interviews with the outer Sailor Guardians. Awesome. Ooh, more full page prints. Beautiful. More interviews with the Amazon S Quartet. More interviews with Nehalania and Zirconia, their voice actors. Then we have this is, oh, history. Neat. History of the anime. A whole timeline from the 1990s, wow. And this is a timeline from the 2000s all the way up to 2021. Wow, that's really cool. Staff interviews. That's gonna be very interesting to read. I'm excited to check this out. Some character drawings and some more merch, cool. I did not collect all this merch. That is way too much stuff for me. <laughs> I did get pieces, which is why we're doing the video today. I got all those, they're so cute. And I bought that. So pretty, these are beautiful, aw. Okay, this is really cool. I like these pamphlets. Now with these pamphlets, I also got, okay, so this is a pamphlet booklet, which is basically just a binder that you can put your pamphlets in. <laughs> but it was so pretty. I really like that the front of this has art of each of the Sailor Guardians as their princess forms, which is kind of rare when it comes to merchandise. I thought it was really beautiful and I wanted to get it just for my collection. Also to store these and keep them in good condition. So this is a really pretty binder. I have a feeling this is gonna be a, like a collector piece that a lot of people want. Now I mentioned earlier that I got a lot of freebies because I purchased so many copies of the Japanese Blu-ray. Uh, this is the Blu-ray. It looks like a vinyl, but it's not. It's, it's a Blu-ray version of both parts of the movie. 
That's the front. This is what the back looks like. It's really beautiful. Obviously, since this is a Japanese release, the entire thing is in Japanese. It does not have English subtitles and there's no English dubs, but you can watch those online if you want to. I believe it's still streaming on Netflix. So on the inside, you get the original soundtrack for both parts, and you also get Sailor Moon Eternal the movie, part one and two, and there's also bonus footage. So this is like interviews and things of that nature. The back of these, there's art behind each of the DVDs and Blu-rays. So I purchased the Blu-ray versions. This is cool because it has like the silver crystal as the art. There's also a pamphlet that comes with the Blu-ray. This is the pamphlet. I'll fly through here pretty quickly to show you everything. Character profiles, I believe. Yeah, cast comment. More cast comments. Then we have some full page art of each of the Sailor Guardian. This is really neat, being able to see how they created the art for the movie. And then event reports, so cute. This is a music review, interviews, and the original soundtrack, part one and part two, and credits. So that's everything for this very pretty pamphlet that comes with the Blu-ray and that slides right back into place right there. So last but not least, I have a very large print that I wanted to show you. I think this was an order that I got through the fan club, maybe? But it's totally gonna go up on my wall somewhere once I figure out where. I'm running out of wall space, y'all. So this is a really beautiful print of the Eternal movie poster. It features each of the Sailor Guardians' very, very vibrant colors. And this is a pearlescent white border for it. The frame that it comes in is very pretty. It's gorgeous altogether. I think it's a very pretty piece and I'm happy that I have it. So down at the bottom, there's a little plaque and then this is the piece. It's printed really beautifully. I'm super happy to have it. There's a little bit of cardboard just kind of sitting on the outside of the glass. I'll have to wipe that off with a microfiber cloth before I actually set this up, but beautiful piece. So that is my Sailor Moon Eternal Part 1 and Part 2 collection of merchandise. I probably have other items somewhere. Oh, I do. I'm going to do a whole doll video because I have two of these. <laughs> I want to open one and then leave the other one in the box for my collection. But this is the Sailor Moon doll. She's a little dusty. She's been in my room for a while and I haven't touched her yet, but she's so beautiful. She's just adorable. This was so hard to get when she first came out, but now it's a lot more common. It's a lot easier to find her, but she's so cute. So I'll definitely do a whole doll video of all the dolls that have come out in the last couple of years, because I have all of them now, I believe. Yeah, that'll come out soon. But I think that's everything. So let me know if you have any questions about the merchandise here or if there's any other Eternal um, movie versions of merch that you want me to review. I can definitely keep an eye out for those. Again, my name is Sailor Snuds. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Janae.